So this is a short video on how to create and use a face camera for your animation. And the reason you want a face camera is so that you don't have to keep zooming in on your character uh, in the perspective view or worst of all in the camera view. Instead we can just create a face camera to animate the facial controls and tear it off as a separate camera. So we're using the 11 rig today and I'm using 11 because it's a great little rig um, and it's really really useful and you can get some really great character animation out of it and there's a blog post about it if you go to if you go to the animation apprentice blog you'll find it here uh, and it explains how to use 11 and talks about some of the main good things and uh, tricky things about the rig so let's create our face camera so what we want to do first of all is go to um, uh, create cameras camera create cameras camera and that comes in as camera one so let's call it face cam or face camera and you'll see it will show up there in the outliner as face cam and what we want to do is then look through it so panels look through selected and you'll see as soon as I do this and just hit spacebar to make that update that we're now looking at the origin because everything in Maya comes in at the origin so if I just tilt and zoom a little bit we'll see the grid below us so let's just move out and then let's zoom in on the character's face because that's what we want to do and now once we've done that we've got our face camera looking at Eleven's face and now what we want to do is attach the face camera to the face so I'm going to select the face camera and then holding down shift with my left hand I select the head control on um, 11 and then I press P P for parent now let's just move the outliner out of the way and just to test that let's just make sure that that's working so let's go to the perspective view over here and you can see there's our camera it's looking at the head of 11 so if I select the head control and now if I rotate it we should find that in the face camera the head remains constant and that's exactly what it's doing because you can see that I've successfully parented the camera to the face. So now that we know it's working let's go ahead and lock it off. So let's select that camera there, there's face camera. We've selected it, it's up here in the uh, channel box and we can either use the lock button here or sometimes that doesn't work so let's just drag select in the many joys of Maya, sometimes the buttons don't work the way you expect them to. We can just drag select these, that's using my left mouse button, and then right click lock selected, and now that should be locked off. The next thing to do is to tear it off. So let's go to panels, tear off, and now we have a separate tear off face cam which we can go back to at any time. So I can return to the perspective view here so there's my perspective view. Let's just turn on two-sided lighting so 11 doesn't have that weird black eye. And let's just select the perspective view, which for some reason is locked. Okay, so it looks like when I locked off the face camera, I actually locked off the perspective view, which is annoying. Uh, there we go. So let's unlock that. So the perspective view is now unlocked. And we could also create a shot camera which you would always want to do quite early on in your shot and move around the shot camera as well we then want to lock that off but we've always got the face camera here down below so I can minimize that and anytime I want it back I can just go back down and whoops, just pull it back again so anytime I want to animate the facial controls I can just go in here and I can manipulate the mouth make 11 happy or sad manipulate the brows, whatever I want to do to create the right facial expression for my shot. So that is how to create and use a face camera in Maya and this works for almost all characters. Some characters come with their own face cam uh, but most don't but it's always a good idea because facial expressions are so important to have a separate face camera that you can use and come back to at any time.